Hey guys, working on this 2006 Nissan X-Trail. We're going to be replacing the front transfer case uh, fluid oil on this today. So we're just under the vehicle here. Um, the transfer case drain plug is right there. It requires a 10 millimeter hex. And the fill plug is located right there. It's that 12 millimeter uh, plug right there it requires a 12 millimeter socket. Uh, we're going to remove the fill plug first to make sure we can get it out and then we'll move on to the drain plug. So this is what you're going to need to complete the job. Uh, the transfer case requires 0.31 liters of ADW90 uh, gear oil. Um, this is the one I'm using, it's a Motomaster brand, uh, but all you're looking for is to make sure that it is a GL5 uh, gear oil. And then, like I said, 10 millimeter hex. I've got this extension to make things a little easier. And then a 12 millimeter socket to remove the fill bolt. And if you are just checking the fluid in it, uh, you do want to make sure that the fluid comes up to that to the bottom edge of the threads of the fill bolt. So there's the fill bolt there. And our drain. I just have to move the camera here because it's literally right under where it's gonna drop out. And it's empty. So, pretty glad we're replacing it slash checking it. Okay, we're gonna reinstall drain plug. Uh, if anyone's wondering what the torque spec is, it's 11 foot pounds, but I'm just gonna tighten it until it's reasonably tight. I don't think this has ever been changed uh, for the life of the vehicle, and it's got almost 300,000 kilometers on it. So I do have a pump on my bottle um, that I'm gonna use to help me fill it up and you're probably gonna need one as well. Uh, you can get them pretty cheap. I think I bought this one for like eight bucks a couple of years ago. Okay, and I'm gonna fill it up until uh, oil starts coming out of the hole. And the service manual says to do it over a period of about three minutes because it must take, you know, about that long for it to flow down through. So even if you see some coming out uh, right away, it may not be filled. So just take your time. Okay, you can see it dripping out pretty consistently there. So I'd say it's full. And this one you torque down to 11 foot pounds as well, but I'm just going to tighten it to a reasonable amount. So I'm just going to clean this area with brake cleaner and drive it and just see if there is a leak. Um, and you should check for leaks as well, but that's all there is to it.